Today on Explained, we are talking about the new Curry Extreme 60 low ping and rear end. Hey, I'm Casey Curry, and today I'm gonna get you some of the features on our JT low ping and extreme rear end. Starting at our center section, made from nodular iron, we did everything we can to keep the strength maximized, but also not hindering any performance, meaning ground clearance is maximized. We did everything we can to keep the casting thick, keep it nice and high and tight, so that way you're not gonna lose that ground clearance. Uh, one thing we did do, we added some additional ribbing where we thought was necessary with all the stress analysis we did. Uh, we focused on oiling, um, really making sure that everything is getting the oiling it's needed. So those big tires on long highway drives, really making sure the benefits come to having the oil uh, temperatures being maximized. Uh, one other thing we have is a nodular iron cover uh, with a radius in the cover, uh, really just focusing on the oil flow. Um, the, the thickness of the cover is made to be smashing on some rocks, really meant to take a beating. Um, so this, you know, the, the features of just that alone, uh, you're not going to get this coming in and touching the ring gear, uh, you're not going to have any deflection, and just the strength of it all together really benefits the entire center section. On the housing tube, we're running a three and a half inch, three eighths wall DOM tubing, much, much stronger than stock. And everything we did with the benefit of getting it inside the casting uh, really benefits it with rosette welds to make sure that you're not gonna have the tubes moving at all and you're not gonna get any flex because as we know with the tubes moving, it turns into a gear problem. So the DOM tubing really is a benefit for optimal strength. All of our brackets made from 316 steel, been reinforced and developed specifically for the JT. All the brackets are in stock location, so all the geometry is similar to stock. Now when I say similar, we've made some slight modifications to make it so that everything is optimized. Skid plates on the bottom of all the lower mounts to make it so that when you're dragging over the rocks, you're not going to be bending any of the ears or any of the tangs really just making sure that it can handle the rocks for a long period of time without having things you know, bending or breaking off. Uh, one thing we did do on the brackets is keep all the stock holes so that way your brake line tabs and all the wire tabs uh, for the stock brake lines all bolt right on. This way you're not going to be zip tying and worried about the brake lines rubbing on anything that they're not supposed to be. Another feature we did is we have a stock hole for the track bar and we have a, a raised track bar hole. So this way, if you do raise the Jeep any amount, you can have two options to make sure that you're getting that geometry how you want it. Our Extreme 60 is a full float. Uh, we run a 916 stud um, and this has a 40 spline slug uh, inside the full float spindle uh, or in the full float hub. Uh, we do run 40 spline axles uh, all the way throughout. Uh, we made a custom rotor so that it utilizes the stock JT brakes. When I say that, we actually give you brand new calipers, but if you wanted, you could actually unbolt it and bolt on your stock calipers, making it so you don't even have to bleed the brakes. Another reason we did this is that we didn't want the brake booster to have any different feel. So this way your pedal, there's no different pedal feel. One thing that we focused on uh, and we've learned a lot from the Jeep engineers is the fact that the brake caliper and rotor basically go together as a great combination for the brake feel and for running big 40 and 42 inch cell tires. So we have a custom made rotor that utilizes a stock caliper, but is basically designed for our eight lug and for the big bore uh, so that we can use our hub. Another nice feature is the stock parking brake cables. There's no removing anything. You can literally bolt in this stock parking brake cables. Uh, we have the nice mount, so it just it's a plug and play option. There is no adjustments and there's no having to pull lines outside the car or even get into the center console at all. It, it is a plug and play uh, parking brake cable. So moving into the axles, 40 spline, 4340 axles. Um, it is a amazing one. It's got splines on both ends. Uh, very easy to maintain. If you do need to pull them out for any reasons, you can pull the cap and slides right out. Now, on the center section, we run an air locker or an e-locker, and it's got Dana 60 gears ring and pinging with all Dana 60 bearings, meaning any problems or any maintenance, 
you can go to any, any auto parts store across the country or across the world and get anything you need. So if, you, if a seal got nicked or you had any sort of problem with any of the uh, serviceable parts, they're very easy to find. Nothing designed specifically for us. We try to make it very easy so the customer can have a solution anywhere he's at. For the yoke, it's a 1350 yoke. The reason we did this is that there is multiple aftermarket dry shafts readily available and are plug and play. So this way, there's no custom links needed, no design work needed. You can buy any aftermarket two-piece dry shaft that will bolt right in without having to design anything. One nice feature that we do on all of our rinse is powder coat them satin black. So with powder coat, whether you're driving them in water or in mud or in sand, the powder coat holds up really nicely and gives it a great finish for whether you're out to dinner or out on the trail. Some additional add-ons we have for the Extreme 60 Low Pinion are the spacers for the sway bar. If you're running the stock sway bar, sometimes at extreme angles, the actual sway bar will get so close to the cast cover that it'll rub. So we've created a spacer that bolts right on, pushes everything out, and it makes it so that you have optimal clearance so there's no issues. Another feature that we have is our additional skid plate. If you want a chrome Molly 4340 laser cut and laser bent skid plate for optimal ground clearance, but also having optimal resistance from dragging on rocks, this is the way to go. With our skid plate, it makes it so that you're not gonna damage the bottom of the casting, wear out the casting, or get stuck with having the casting be stuck on a rock. With the chromoly skid plate, it slides really nice on those aggressive rocks. That should cover our Low Pain Extreme 60. If you have any questions, give us a call, write us an email, or leave a comment below and we'll get you answered. If you like this video, subscribe here. For more Curry Tech videos, click right here. And for other Curry content, click right here. Thanks for watching, guys.